Okay, here we go. There's a reason he's got those flashing lights on. introduce you guys to Sparkles. Sparkles the fire truck. Um, I know some of you guys gonna, at least one person is gonna complain that it's actually a fire engine, not a fire truck, but I think we're past that stage. So what it is, it's a 1985 E1 Hurricane, uh, four-wheel drive, uh, that I've done a little bit of work to, and I have a little fun with. So, as we're walking around here, so Obviously, one of the big things I did is I lifted it about six inches front and rear uh, and then put these tires on it. These are 54s off military transports, um, 1600 R20s, for those of you that care. These are 54 inch tall tires. The originals were 42, so they'd be about there. So quite a bit smaller. This thing runs a Detroit 8V92 TA. So a big V8 two-stroke. Uh, it's got a blower on it, needs that to run. And then it's got a big turbo that feeds that. A little later I'll jump up there and show you that. Alrighty, give you guys a little start up here. Won't be a cold start up. Motor's probably at 40 degrees. Come on, girl. Oh, starting to see some smoke come out. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've driven it in two weeks, so. There she goes. Now she's a happy Detroit. All right, so I got some heat in the motor, so we can have a little fun with it. We're gonna see how it sounds. Oh. A little bit of that action. So yeah, she gets up and goes. No doubt about that. I might actually run to the gas station right now and I'll take you on the road a little bit. factory four-wheel drive as you can see big pumpkin under there and then so the long-term goal for this is to turn it to a camper but that's a couple of years down the road yet so what I do in the meantime car shows parades that kind of thing but the really fun thing is truck pulls so, just exhibition class, but I'll go and I'll pull the sled, and the crowd usually likes it quite a bit. Uh, to do that, one of the things I did, built a big hitch for it, um, started out as a, as a factory Ford hitch off an F-350 or something. I basically just needed a general shape to start welding to, to get it going. 
Uh, the motor when I bought it was set at 430 horse. I'm somewhere over 600 at this point. Um, some nice big injectors in it. Gave a little more RPM. It's a Detroit, so you gotta straight pipe it. So it's got a five inch straight pipe from the turbo back. I'm gonna hop up in here, give you a little look-see at that. So, as you've noticed before, so it is mid-engined. This is not a cab over. So, I sit completely in front of the engine. Um, I had an exhaust leak at one point, ignore the soot. So, a turbo, big enough to suck your face into it. And then, right into the, oh, there it is. So there's the output of the turbo, right into the blower, into the center of the block. That takes care of that. Um, everything else is here is kind of standard. There's a hydraulic pump right there. Show you what that does later. Yeah, spot it for in here. And I've had to go to the drive line, get some more stuff to take care of in there, because I was shearing off bolts on the flanges and that kind of stuff. Um, oh, I was just gonna stop in the back. It's got a big winch, 20,000 pound hydraulic. Uh, that's quite useful. And I'll be, uh, I have another winch purchased for it, which will be going on the front here in place of this bumper. There'll be another 15,000 pound winch that mounts up here, because uh, I'll no longer need that when it's a camper. And that'll help me get rid of my overhang in front of my front axle. Overall specs on the truck, it's 30 feet long. It's a highway. 30 foot long, eight foot wide, 10 and a half feet tall, weighs 27,000 pounds. Um, <laughs> four speed Allison automatic. I'd really like to swap a six speed into it, six speed Allison as well. But that's if budget and time allows for it. Uh, the front axles, uh, 12,000 pound, the rear's a 24,000 pound. So I'm rated at 36,000 pound gross. Um, the water tank that's on it is a 750 gallon water tank. Lives in that area there. It's a 1750 gallon per minute pump. Still functions. Uh, everything works on this, including the lights and the horns. Mm. I store my spare tire up top. Got a little crane to get it there. Because this area used to be where they stored the hoses. And I've taken out all the dividers and I use it as general storage now. <laughs> Carry some ladders on it. I can show you a little round in the cab. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, it's a very roomy cab. Um, the bench seat that I'm on, it's got seat belts for three, plus that. This actually is wide enough for four. Uh, then you got a huge area in front of you, um, which I'm sure I'll do something with that when I, when I got into a camper to make more useful space out of that. No air conditioning, but a heater that will melt you out of it. Um, on my emergency light control panel up there. Other than that, it drives like a car. I mean, you throw her in drive, but there's no park on this. You use your parking brake up here. Go fast pedal, go slow pedal. That's about it. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit of work to drive it on the road because the, the cab is so wide and you sit so far left. It's deceiving as to where you are on the road. So, eight foot wide is not super wide for a vehicle, but sitting that far left is weird. Normally you're in a little further, so you basically feel like you're driving on the line in order to do it, in order to drive, so. 
but yeah. Oh, and then there's, I uh, might have seen it, but not caught it earlier. There's two jump seats that face backwards here. And those are covered, but open, and also sitting right next to a Detroit. So, depending on the time of day and your disposition, that might be a lot of fun. Could also be not a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have fun with it. Um, I mean, I'll drive it to the grocery store. It's, I didn't buy it to let it sit. I use it. Um, Love giving people rides in it. Love telling them about showing them the truck. Absolute best thing ever is seeing kids' faces when they come up. They come up to the truck, and I mean, they don't even come to the top of the tire. I mean, they're standing right here, and they're just looking in an awe at the thing. Because you don't you don't get an idea for the scale of this until you stand next to it. Well, like here's my van, for example. If we get a shot of both of those in there. This is very deceiving. But yes, that's considerably larger than that. But I mean, it is just out of this. It's it's hard to grasp how big it is when you're standing next to it. Because um, like jumping up, I'm a relatively tall guy. Nothing crazy, I'm 6'2". So when I open this door, that first step right there, that's my, that's my belt. That's my belt line. So, you got a long way to go up to get up in there. But, but yeah, so this is Sparkles. Sparkles the fire truck. The sled pulling, car show going, parade having, future camper of a fire engine.